What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to integrate your custom domain with ClickMagic using CNAME DNS. So in the past, I have made a video where we use so-called method one, uh, which was just a URL redirect. That method is no longer available. So I want to be a good Samaritan and show you how to use the new and the more, um, the more reliable method. All right, so let's jump straight in. I'm going to go into domain. So here's the domain that we've been playing around with. Um, in our previous videos, marketingsuccess.site, that's our diabetes site, supposedly. Uh, so go in here, go into your domain list. Uh, make sure this is on Namecheap Basic DNS. That's the first thing we need to make sure it's on. Then we need to go to Advanced DNS Settings here. And this is where, where we need to make our changes. So you may have two different things listed in there. Um, you can just safely delete them. Now, if you already have a website set up, so if, if it's not the default, if you already have something set up that you specifically did for another site, you don't necessarily have to delete it. We can just say track, for example, for our host or basically a host name other than whatever you have in there. So a host name is like www, that's a host name. So you can input whatever you want. It's basically that little title that goes before your domain name. So you can plug that in. So in, in our example, suppose we want to use track dot your domain.com to symbolize that hey this is your tracking link right remember if you if you don't cloak your link and i'm using cloaking and masking interchangeably in this case based on click magic definitions they are the same thing but if i don't cloak or mask my url uh, then my my tracking url won't show at all right the only reason we have the tracking url is to be able to track that's it people don't see it at all so um let me go here. So first thing we'll need to do is we need to go to CNAME record and suppose I want to say track. Again, you can use whatever you want. If you do, if you do want to use www and you want to mask your URL, you can do that. And that way this particular URL will show. Now in this case, we do need to connect it to click magic. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy paste this link here and you can find this in the click magic FAQ in case you forget or want to go back. So I'm just going to paste that here. Uh, TTL, that's uh, time to live, leave that as is, 30 minutes is basically the time it takes to refresh any changes you do to the DNS to people worldwide, okay? So just, just leave it at that for now. If you are making a ton of changes, that's when it's best to keep it at a shorter time, right? But it is taxing on the system, so don't, don't make it like one minute, okay? Because then it may really uh, cause delays in loading your site. So we've done that. If you want to do www, www, by all means do that. Let's add a new record though. So if you already have something set up there, that is it. That is all you need to be able to track. And I will go over this in the next video where I'll discuss Cloudflare integration because ClickFunnels only works with Cloudflare in terms of custom domain integration, nothing else for now, okay? And our videos are on ClickFunnels. So supposing you don't have anything here, I'm going to click add new record. And I will say a record for host. I'm going to put the at sign symbolizing nothing that there's nothing before there's, there's no host name, right? It's just your domain name.com. And for the IP address, uh, I'm going to copy and paste this link. So by the way, keep in mind, this is for tracking. So these things that I'm posting here, they're for tracking links. The rotators are for rotator links. Don't confuse the two. They are different. Okay. So in our videos, again, we're focusing on tracking. So just copy that that IP address, uh, and I will click save. And that is it. You are done with Namecheap. You're good to go. That's all you need to do here. Again, if you want to make this www or monkeys, you know, uh, monkeys.yourdomain.com, you can do that as well. All right. So now that we have done that, let's go back to click magic. Let's click on domain manager at the top. Um, and let's input something. And now if this doesn't load immediately, don't freak out. It may take up to 24 hours, okay, for your site to be located and to be so-called propagated uh, or spread across the entire world, all right? So let's type in exactly what we see here. So track.marketingsuccess.site. By the way, if you want to know what happened to method one and why it's considered unreliable, just feel free to click on this link here. Uh, basically, what it's going to say is that um, 
there have been some issues where if you click on this tracking link, it won't redirect to your URL properly. And that did happen to me several times. So I'm not going to argue with that, that that may happen. All right. So we're going to just stick with this for now. If you want to cloak your original URL, whatever it is you're using, you can click yes. And what that's going to do is that's going to show this URL to the people when they load your site. That's what is going to show up at the top of their bar. Um, so that's why you may want to say www, right? You, 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 you may not want it to say track.marketing site or whatever your product is. It may seem a bit freaky, right? Although you could also make this whatever you want. Again, you can make it go, you can make it monkeys, right? Whatever is related to your site. So you can do that. Um, if you click no, then it's going to show the actual URL. So our ClickFunnels URLs are like, you know, whatever your username is, some number, slash, blah, blah, blah. So that's what's going to show if you say no here, okay? So uh, let's, let's try adding it. Perfect, so it added, we didn't even have to wait. Normally you do have to wait, this is a rare case exception, uh, but don't freak out again if it doesn't work. So let me go, sorry, wrong one. marketing success.site and let me try to add that no so there's two reasons why this may not have worked one is we did not enter the correct domain so let's go back and check it the other reason is it has not propagated yet like i said it may take 1 to 24 hours okay um if for some reason it does not load after 24 hours definitely send click magic a ticket they'll take a look at it but judging by how this worked i don't see a reason for why um, this wouldn't work as well, okay? So after you do that, and when we go back to our links, we go back to our diabetes page, you can see here, right there, okay? So it is available to you. So all we have to do now is just, just put in your URL. Uh, if you click cloak, yes, then it's going to show this URL, all right? It, it's, it's going to show that one. If you click cloak, if you click no, it's going to show this URL. So if you want to change that URL, we're going to do it in Cloudflare in the next video because we're using ClickFunnels and Cloudflare is the only system that it works with right now for custom domain integration. So I'll, I'll show you guys how to change that to make it nice. That way you don't have to cloak. And Cloudflare also has a secure certificate, SSL certificate you can use to make your domain secure. All right. So that's about it. I mean, you, you got your link working. So let's just take one second to take a look. So I'm going to save and here is my new pre, uh, my new URL. So if I put this in, I will be able to track the clicks on this particular site. Uh, and as you can see here, I said no cloaking. So it's going to show this URL, which may not be as pretty. Just to show you guys that this should work and this should track properly. And there you go. Okay, unique click. So I hope that helped. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.